I'm really interested in the running back room. Uh, Verdell had a lot of injuries last year. That was apparent. We don't know what the injuries were. It was like a lot of people called it a ghost injury because he was good one drive, not good the next. Like we didn't know what was going on. Sean Dollars, which was the expected era apparent, got hurt towards ACLs, out for an indefinite amount of time. He's not out for the whole season. He'll probably be back around the midseason mark. Cyrus and BB Leakio transferred to Boise State. So that gives a lot of opportunity for guys like Cross Patton and guys like Seven McGee and Byron Cardwell to try and get some actual meaningful playing time at a young age. And Cross Patton's a walk-on, son of Big Boy from Outcast, if anyone didn't know that. Uh and he came all the way from Atlanta, walked on to Oregon, and he's 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 put in a lot of work, and the coaches have raved about how much he's developed since being on campus. So I can't wait to see which running backs get some playing time. On top of that, Oregon has been known, if you follow the Pac-12 heavily, for the past few years of having one decent receiver and then a bunch of not-so-great receivers. Going into this year, I would not be shocked if there are five NFL wide receivers on this team. Now, obviously, that's that's peak end. Like, if they all perform as we expect, no injuries or, or so forth. Because you have Johnny Johnson. You have Micah Pittman. Those guys are already projected NFL players. You have Devin Williams. You have Troy Franklin, highly rated players who, who are a lot of people think will end up being really good. And then you have the other four-star guys we've landed, like the Isaiah Brevards, the Johnny Delgados. And it's going to be fun to see how these guys make an impact on a veteran wide receiver room. There's, I don't know how you keep guys like Troy Franklin off the field, even though you have three returning starters on the wide receiver room. I think I would love to see Troy Franklin starting week one, but I think he's going to earn his spot in that week two game against Ohio State. I think he's going to play really well in that game and end up becoming a starter, pushing somebody back to the fourth wide receiver. Good stuff. And uh, if we are able to get together uh, next week, we could certainly give a full fall camp a preview and uh, certainly run down what happened uh, on Saturday and what the ramifications were f on recruiting. Yeah, I'll make some notes for that. I'm really excited. Cyrus Moss is committing. I'm, I'm calling it. 